And a powerful, slow-moving hurricane like Dorian can do major damage to beaches and land. Yeah, we've seen that in the past. We're seeing it again tonight, a startling satellite image of the Bahamas going viral. If you look at this thing, you can see it shows part of the island submerged during the storm surge. The Finnish company behind this says the image was taken yesterday using some special technology. So what is the long-term impact for the Bahamas? And how would our islands handle such force? Well, tonight, Eight on Your Side investigates how powerful hurricanes can change geography. Our investigative reporter, Masa Saidi, is in Madeira Beach tonight live where this has actually happened before. Masa. Keith and Stacy, back in the 1800s, you could actually just walk to the other side. Then a powerful hurricane came, creating John's Pass. We may have gotten lucky missing that Cat 5 this time, but hurricane season is far from over. It's the storm surge that's the killer. It's one of the most powerful Atlantic storms on record. Dorian's high winds and surging water flooding neighborhoods and killing at least five in the Bahamas. Tonight, this satellite image from a Finnish company going viral. It shows part of the island flooded during the storm surge Monday. Dr. Albert Hine is a geological oceanographer who has studied the Bahamian Islands. It is dangerous because they are topographically low. They can go completely underwater. Once Dorian passes, Dr. Hine expects the beaches to be destroyed, but he says the rocky islands underneath will largely stay intact. Tonight, with Florida still in the middle of hurricane season, Aid on Your Side investigates the potential geological impact of a Cat 5 on our islands. Just about all of the Pinellas County coastline is a barrier island system. Two-thirds of Florida's coastline is made up of sandy barrier islands. Dr. Hines says they're composed entirely of soft sediment and can easily be rearranged and removed. It sounds like you're saying we're in some ways more susceptible. Yes, I, I would think so to a rocky island. Our islands are densely packed with people, homes and businesses. Our shorelines vulnerable. And our expert also said that passes like this tend to migrate more, so more potential to have damage during a powerful storm. So you just want to keep that in mind when you are building around passes like this. Stacy. It can't be terribly common, Masa. Uh, like, how common is it for this to happen in our area? So our expert said that it happened in 1848 here. He also said that it happened in Pinellas County in the 1920s. So it's not common, Stacy, with uh, human terms, I guess. But in geological terms, it is very common.